welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is spooky season, which is my favorite time of year. And actually, unfortunately, it is October 15th today, which means it's halfway through spooky season. And when I started my channel and I was gonna go consistent back in January and do a video a month, I had like four possible video ideas for this month, but they were all bigger projects. And sadly, October just got away from me, and so I do not have time to do any of the cool, bigger projects that I was planning. I will save those. They will probably just be out of season, but I really want to do them, so they will happen eventually. But because I don't have time to do any of those projects, I do have an alternative autumn project, so I can still do something kind of related to the season. So, here it is. So, three years ago, I had an idea where I wanted to do a full character makeup, I wanted to be like a forest nymph or forest spirit or dryad or whatever, something of that nature. And I made this wig and I sculpted and molded and ran a facial appliance to go with it. I finished both the wig and the appliance and just never actually applied them and did the makeup together. I did do a makeup with this wig because I really like how the wig came out. But I should really like actually do the makeup at some point, but whatever, I digress. But I thought it would be fun since this was such a fast thing to do. It was literally a couple hours worth of shopping and then a couple hours to put it together. It's super easy and I think it is a pretty good result. So I thought it would be fun to do an autumn version of this wig and my goal for today was to wake up relatively early and get out of the house and go shopping and then come back here and make it. But when my alarm went off at 9 o'clock this morning, my body said, uh, no, we are not doing this. And I fell back asleep and didn't wake up until 11.40. So it is now 2.05. So without further ado, I'm going to actually go to the store, get my supplies, and we will make a uh, autumn version of this wig. That's the goal anyway, fingers crossed. But let's go shopping. Also, side note, I'm wearing a sweater because it's autumn and I wanted to have something that kind of indicated that it's autumn, but it's 75 degrees out because I live in the south, so. I will not be wearing the sweater moving forward. Okay, let's go. Autobots, let's roll out. And we have made it to Miguel's. but unfortunately they do not have the yarn that I want to use so it is on our way to Hippie Libby now to try and get the same yarn that I used as last time. Let's go. Woo! I just got back from shopping. It is now probably around 4 o'clock. It is exactly 3.45, so I have my goodies that I got at the store. Apparently I talked too much off script, so let's just quickly go over what I got. One sprig of leaves, just the one should be plenty, these dangly plants, this variegated orange yarn, this rust-colored braided yarn, this brown yarn, as well as this mossy looking chartreuse yarn, and lastly the hat that is going to be our base. Okay, we are about four minutes in, so we should probably get started. To start, we are going to cut off the brim of our hat. Next, I take the yarn that I feel is going to make up the bulk of my wig. In this case, the thick rust-colored yarn. I figure out how long I want my wig to be. Then I cut pieces of yarn that are twice as long as that length. I then fold each strand of yarn in half and hot glue in the middle, so I basically end up with two strands of hair for the effort of one. I start by gluing these at the back and working my way up and forward. I then tried unraveling some of these to see how that looked, and I really like how it gave a different texture, so I unraveled some and kept some braided. Once I felt I had a good base with my main yarn, I started to add in my accent yarns to bring in more textures and colors. I 
continued to work my way up the head, switching between yarns until I got the fullness and the variation I wanted. Once I filled about the bottom three quarters of the hat, leaving both the top and the front empty, I added in those cascading floral pieces. And finally, I add the leaves to finish it off. This is honestly the hardest part because there is a fine line between making the leaves look purposeful and making it just look like a pile of leaves. I tend to start with the bigger leaves and lay in smaller ones to add dimension and to fill in holes. This took several tries until I found an orientation I was happy with. I used pins to hold the leaves in place until I found an orientation that I was ready to commit to and then I just hot glued them in place. I think we're just gonna commit and start gluing and hopefully it'll just end up looking good. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. As far as gluing the leaves, just start with the ones at the back on the bottom and work your way forward and that's it. Time for the reveal. watching. If you like this video, please think about giving it a like. If you want to see more, please think about subscribing. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!